and say hi hello my name is Angie for those of you who do not know me I'm a medical assistant here on YouTube as well as in real life I primarily focus on traveling medical assistant and a lot of things surrounding COVID-19 currently I am in St. Louis Missouri and this is kind of my temporary permanent spot for the time being um, today's video obviously as you can tell is a flashcard Friday for y'all sorry that it has taken me absolutely so long to get to y'all I am in the midst of studying as you can see my hair is wet I just had to take a study break from studying for finals and everything else under the moon again if you don't know and you haven't been here for a while I'm also in a nursing school so I'm juggling working full-time and going to school full-time and trying to maintain a social life so hopefully you guys by the time that this goes up there will be 700 of you joined our new family we are so close to 8,000 subscribers y'all and I just can't even fathom the fact that so many of y'all watch these videos so many of y'all have subscribed and so many of y'all interact with me I absolutely love it oh okay so before we hop into the video I do just want to bring up one more thing to you guys in the description box of this video is always going to be listed every single thing that I talk about or use or recommend to you guys every single one of my videos I try to do my absolute best to um you know provide all the resources that we went over um and because today is a flashcard Friday we are doing it a little bit different than last time um, I'm obviously gonna put up the slides to show you guys the questions and we're gonna kind of talk about it and help you guys figure out the answers I also got some requests for helping with the resumes in the down bar of this video is going to be a Google Doc for requests to help out with resumes if you need some help building up your resume as a new medical assistant or someone coming back into the medical assistant field I would absolutely love to help y'all again in the down bar you'll be able to see it so yeah, I'm just going to um, hop into the video. Okay, so you're gonna see me in the bubble down here at the bottom of the screen, just kind of talking you through these questions. Obviously leave the answers in the down bar like I do all the time. This is just a great way for us to kind of discuss the questions, me to put my little two cents in. Um, so yeah. So question one is what drug prevents the action of another drug? So what are some key words in this question, you guys? That's where we wanna start off first. Prevent, right? We wanna go through and, and highlight the word prevent because that is something that we are looking for. Um, each of these drugs or each of these options of answers, you wanna go ahead and, and break down what they each mean. So what I would have you guys do is A through D, look up in your book and Google and whatever resources that you've been provided or have at your means, look up each of these words, each of these definitions, each of these drugs to help you determine which one will answer this question for you. So yeah, if you didn't get D, let's go ahead and work on our definitions on what each understanding what each of those words means you guys <laughs> question two coinsurance is calculated based on what so again what are we trying to understand we need to understand what coinsurance is so we need to understand what coinsurance is and what we're trying to do is understand how we calculate that amount of coinsurance that's necessary for the patients right so again, the answer to number two is B, percentage of charge. That is a way that co-insurance is calculated, the percentage that the patient was charged. It's supposed to be muscles. Muscles that act in the knee joint exhibit two actions. So ultimately, we're talking about the joints. Specifically in this case, we're talking about your knee joint, you guys, okay? And what do they wanna know? What, is, what does the knee joint do? How does it move? And as you can see in the picture that I provided for y'all, um, it shows you how we move our body parts and we're able to do process of elimination with our options and understand the way that the knee goes. Okay, the next question is question four. A structure that composes two or more tissues is called a blank. So let's go ahead and break down what are we trying to figure out? A structure that has two or more tissues. So if you don't know each of these um, structures, an organ, an organism, a cell, or a system, I'm gonna highly recommend you look them up. Look them up, get visual so that you can visual, visibly see which one of these has two or more, you know, is composed of two or more tissues. That way you'll be able to understand the answer. So 
So for question five, a cell respiration is a function of a blank. Oh, well you guys, I am not the best at biology, but again, use your resources. Um, there are pictures out there that will be able to help you really break down. I mean, what are we looking for? What is the function of cell respiration? We don't want really want to know. We don't really need to know what cell respiration does. We just want to know it's the function of what, you know. So, what does it help function? Okay. So, the next question is number six. Um, Sonomic tumors are is a result of what? Um, and here, as you guys can see, I put a little. Um, a little EKG picture up here for y'all so you can see the difference in these tremors. Okay, so a small, question number seven is a small structural unit in the nervous system is the blank. So question eight, it says a patient came into the doctor's office with chest pain and shortness of breath. What position is best for him to breathe better? Here are a couple of positions that you want to be in. All of these positions obviously have special needs. Um, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity. I mean, this picture is a little bit blurry, but you guys can obviously look it up on your own as well. But here are just some visuals. Okay, so question nine says the primary function of the nervous system is blank. So obviously we just need to know what the nervous system does. Um, and then, uh, you know, which one of these is that? Okay, last question says, Mr. Smith is suffering from an enlargement of bones in the, in the entire skull, as well as in the hands and feet. In addition to thickening of skin, which of the following condition is Mr. Smith suffering from? Excuse my typos. <laughs> okay, Mr. Smith is suffering from which one of these, you guys? Obviously, if you do not, um, are not good with like diagnosis or like understanding certain medical terminology, this is, this is key, you guys, and I am such a big believer in this. Google it. I, I know that sounds so weird to say. We do not know everything. We are not doctors. And I just think that, you know, when we are able to really break down the definition of things, we can truly understand it. Sorry, I feel like I'm so close to the camera. Um, but yes, so look up what each of these means. Look up and find visuals for this. Hey guys, hopefully this video helped you. Um, hopefully you learned something. All the answers and the questions will be left down below. All the resources will be left down below as well. Um, if you guys like this style of doing it, let me know and we can continue it this way. Um, if you guys want to explain answers down below, help somebody out down in the comments section, go ahead and feel free and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.